Hi everyone, this is Vinita and today I'm going to be talking to you about a food diary and the benefits of maintaining a food diary. Now, you can also call it a food journal. So many of you might be familiar with this and for those of you who are not, a food diary or food journal is a book in which you make a note of all the food that you've eaten uh, from the time you wake up till the time you sleep. So typically it would be a breakfast, a mid-morning snack if at all, lunch, snack and then dinner. Um, this can be a book that you have uh, made on your own or there are ready books available. There are also apps which help you make a note of these things. So here are a few reasons why a food diary can be very beneficial. So the first reason is that a food diary lets you look at all that you've eaten in one place. So when you look at the diary at the end of the day, it makes you realize when you've eaten, how you've eaten, what choices did you make. And what I like to do in the format that I share with my clients for the food diary is to also write the reason why they ate and how did they feel immediately after and how did they feel an hour or two later. So what it gives you is the physical as well as the mental reaction to food. So it tells you after eating a meal like this, how did you feel? So if a meal made you feel satiated but too sluggish, then you know what you want to avoid the next time. And if a meal made you feel really uh, nice and satiated uh, but gave you a good level of energy, then you know that's the kind of food that suits you. It's also very easy to uh, figure out if you're intolerant to something or extremely sensitive to a certain kind of food when you make it make a note of it. The second reason uh, why a food diary is a good idea is it really ends up accelerating weight loss because it makes you more conscious of what you eat and you know that you have to write it down. So very often you might change your mind and not eat something uh, which is not the ideal uh, food for you. Uh, the third reason the food diary is helpful is self-awareness and self-accountability. Because uh, no matter uh, whether you have a nutritionist or, or you have a, a lifestyle coach or a nutrition coach that you work with, uh, or if you're doing this independently, at the end of the day, the idea is that you need to be responsible for the choices that you make. And a food diary really helps you to see that. Because if we tend to forget as we, you know, we are busy with work, etc., then what are we really putting into our system? So that is why it really helps. Another reason uh, is that it ends up uh, ensuring that you have better nutrition. Because again, when you look at it, you realize, oh, instead of this, I should have chosen that. Or, you know, next time, I think this is my week time. Uh, you know, like my snack time is the time I tend to binge. So let me change uh, and keep maybe some more alternatives around me so that I make the right choices. So it results in better nutrition. And uh, another reason why a food diary is a good idea is it helps you identify what are your triggers. Because when you write down why you ate, it tells you were you eating because you were angry, you were tired, you were stressed. So it helps you figure out the triggers and that again helps you to know that okay this is the time usually I feel uh, very anxious or very bored and you will either prepare for uh, that time by keeping the right alternatives near you or you might just choose to work with that with something other than food and uh, make a better choice. To help you keep a track of your food uh, if you'd like you could also download my app called Vinita Contractors Food Diary. It's very simple um, not at all complicated and easy to just note down your food intake. It also allows you to add things related to sleep and other lifestyle aspects, which you can also work with in addition to food to achieve your health goals. So if you like this video, please share, like and subscribe and uh, try out a food diary and let me know how you feel after a week of keeping a food diary. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to mention, you do not have to maintain a food diary for life. Uh, maintaining a food diary for a period of say a month or two helps you to uh, understand how you function, what are the food choices you make. And as you get closer to your health goals and you get committed to uh, working with your food in a proper way, then you can wean it off eventually. If you like keeping a food diary, of course, you can continue to, continue to do so, but you don't have to maintain it for life. So thank you for watching.